how to not give a, I'm gonna give you the most potent idea right away. So do not click off this channel, stay, okay? Keep watching because I swear to you, I'm gonna willing to bet my life on the line that 90 to 99% of the human beings that are gonna watch this have never seen this or never heard this idea before in their lives, okay? Why? Because it's my deepest perception to the reality. I'm gonna share with you now, okay? Congratulations uh, for finding this video and for listening to what I'm gonna say. So how do you not give a, this word? You have to, st okay, let me, let me backtrack here. Let me just think and let me really uh, potently express this idea here. These chickens, these birds, they're interrupting me. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't care about the Reproductive Act. I don't care about the Bedroom Act. You see how I am, you know? Uh, there was once like a girl that messaged me on, on uh, my YouTube comment. And she's like, hey, you're this and that, you have such beautiful eyes. Oh, if only you took off your beard, you shaved your beard, you'd be so much more handsome. And I just, this is how I looked at her, like this. Okay, and then I clicked away. I don't care, I don't care, okay? Please, move on. I don't care for the rest of my life I remain celibate or without seeing or being or talking to another girl ever in my life. Great, fantastic, okay? I'll definitely have more focus towards doing what I need to do and doing what I want. This is why I don't give uh, this word, okay? Why? Because this F word is to do with that reproductive act. You care about it. Look at you, look at you. You care, okay? If I go and, you know, slap you around a little bit or pour some paint on you or do something little funny thing or embarrass you, fundamentally that the lowest core you're afraid for, well, ultimately it's your survival. But after your survival is concerned, it's your reproduction, your replication. Is how well you're, you're living in this little social game, uh, how your value is, and how well you can go and mate with other girls or guys or whatever you are, or whoever you are. I, do, I have removed myself from this possibility. And so I don't care, okay? I'll dress the way I want to dress. I'll speak the way I want to speak. I'll uh, sit how I want to sit. I'll do whatever I want to do. I'll make the kind of videos that I want. Why? I have an, absolutely no care. I'm in, I, there's indifference towards the outcome. So I'm not here trying to impress someone or try to make some girls like me or do this. I don't care if girls like me, okay? I don't care if girls like me. So if you care if girls like you, and by the way, look at you, okay? You look, look at yourself in the mirror, you care if girls like you, okay? I actually avoid women when I walk on the streets. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to interact with them. I don't want to engage in their energy. It's like, please, go away, all right? Whereas uh, for the most the majority of men that are going to watch this are also women, okay? That's not like you. This is something that's very cherished by you. You, you're like, this is like the most valuable thing in your life. Why? Well, that's just nature. That's the DNA. If you value this, you're going to give, uh, you know, you're, you're going to care about this. Now, let's look at the actual, the syntax, how this, this uh, sentence is structured. Do you give a F word or how do not give a F word? Well, what is the F word? Okay, go Google it. It's the bedroom act. How do you not give this? Well, you just don't give this. I'm not giving this. Okay, I'm not doing this. I don't care about this. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It literally does not bother me at all. It's zero. It's ins insignificant to me. It's as insignificant to me as like tomorrow you say, oh, you're not going to be able to go swim in the lake or water or something. Oh, okay. No problem. I, uh, I'd like to. It's, it's nice and pleasant, but no big deal. Okay. I got uh, better things to do. So again, I have taken myself away from this possibility. I don't, I'm indifferent towards this. I have indifference towards this. I dress the way I want to dress. I speak the way I want to speak. I behave the way I want to behave because there is no alternative for me. What am I going to do? Okay. <laughs> so as this thing is concerned, I don't care about this. Now let's look, I'll give you some more valuable ideas here as it relates to this. This also ties into this. Hey, I don't give a S word. Okay. It was related to like ex excrement. Okay. Or feces. I don't give a feces or the, I don't understand these feces. That's what you're saying. Fundamentally, it's something you're not capable of understanding the, the digestive process within your own body. This is why this word is so commonly used. It's like you're not understanding your digestive process. You're not understanding the inner framework of your own body. This, these excrements are the most filthy thing in the human body. And it's something that human beings have not come to terms with. Not yet. So this is the most prominent word in our vocabulary. Please think about this and look at this. This is not, this is a, there's no alternative to this. It's not like, oh, this is just this or that's happening. No, it's this. All right. Also the bedroom act, the reproductive act. Okay. 
you're still in the pool you're wanting to reproduce so you're gonna go and you're willing to do whatever it takes you're gonna be a good boy in little society and dress a little thing and you're gonna see a commercial with some guy with like a cute girl in his apartment and he's like yeah razor the best shave that a man can get Ooh, I, lo I like your little baby face you look like a prepubescent teenager oh my god i want that and you're gonna go and scrub yourself or scrape yourself and you're like huh girls do, do you still like me okay i don't care if girls like me so that's how you not give a f word